Hey guys, it's Bakim here today, and today I'm going to show you how to make a deconstructed tea. Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to make a deconstructed tea. This tutorial has been in the works for the longest. It's been, I shot this footage like months ago, so I'm not even going to try to pretend like I didn't shoot this a long time ago, so I'm just now shooting the intro for it. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to make a deconstructed tea. I found my inspiration for this deconstructed tea online there was this guy he makes these t-shirts and they're really really cool just like the one I have on but they're like hundred and fifty dollars I don't know who in the hell is gonna pay hundred and fifty for a shirt that you can make yourself but it is what it is so there's gonna I'm going to show you all of the items that you're gonna need to make this tea and that will all be in the next video all right so let's get started Alright, so let's hop into the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to use is this sandpaper. Um, use a really like hard, really rough like sandpaper because of course this is a cloth. So I'm going to start at the bottom. I do have a reference picture that I'm using, but yeah. So you're just going to kind of bend it like this. And you're just going to start going back and forth trying to make a hole. And make the holes like really random. They don't have to be perfect. Of course it's a torn up tee, so it really doesn't matter, you know, how much you mess it up. But I want mine to be like really, really, really messy. Alright, so I've kind of made some more holes in the bottom. I want the bottom to be a little bit more torn up than everything else. But yeah, I'm just continuing to do that. So closer to the bottom, towards so this part I want some of the holes to be like a little bit bigger and I want the shirt to hang a little bit so I already kind of you know with the sandpaper opened up a hole so now I'm just going to rip it to make it hang just a little bit like that and I'll do like just do it like kind of randomly don't make them too too big because I made the mistake on my practice shirt and making the holes a little bit too big but yeah just just do like that Okay, so for on the sides, you don't want it to be as big as holes on um, as it was on the bottom just because, you know, it might not look as attractive. So you do want to kind of um, just make it kind of look worn but not huge holes. Alright, so the next area that you want to get is around the neck, so around this area, and later we're going to get the sleeves and also the back. But Around the neck does have a, I want to have bigger holes. Of course, you don't have to do it this way. You don't have to do your shirt like this at all. Of course, there's no amount of worn look that, you know, you just have to have. But I'm going to start working around the neck to make a little bit of some bigger holes. Alright, so now we're moving on to the sleeves. And, I mean, they're going to have like a kind of... Almost like the, um, the around the neck, it's just going to be kind of worn, not too big holes, but it just, like I said, all depends on what you prefer your shirt to look like. Alright, so the back is going to be a little bit simpler. We're just going to do the bottom of the back, the back of the sleeves, the back of the neck, and then yeah, that's it. And then the little random spots in the center, but those are not going to be too big because, I don't know, unless you just want your back just hanging out so everybody can see, you know, it's just up to you. Alright, so now that we've got the front and the back, you can use your cheese grater here to just get any small areas that you want to um, look a little bit rough. Also, you can go in with your scissors and just cut the like the bottom to make it a little bit more um, a little bit more rough. Also, but yeah. Other than that, this is the final product. So I'm not even going to say my usual saying that, you know, haven't been here in like over a month. So usually do my little monthly videos. I'm not going to even promise that I'm not going <laughs> to 